1 fifth divided by 4. Start by drawing a rectangle. The rectangle represents one whole and we will show what 1 fifth of the whole looks like. The denominator is 5, so partition the rectangle or a whole into fifths, which are five equal parts. Since the fraction that is being divided is one fifth, shade in one of the fifths. Now that one fifth is shown in the whole, partition it into four equal parts since the expression shows to divide by four. You can show those four partitions horizontally. One way is to split the whole in half, then split each of the halves in half to show four equal parts. When you divide a unit fraction by a whole number, you are determining the size of each part in comparison to the whole. To show this, I like to circle one of the parts to ensure the focus is on the size of one part and not all of the shaded parts. Let's look at the amount of parts in a column. One, two, three, four. Or you can skip count four, eight, 12, 16, 20 total parts. Again, the goal is to determine the size of each or one part out of the whole. The total number of parts is 20, which is the denominator of the quotient. And because the focus is on one part, the numerator of the quotient is one. One fifth divided by four equals one twentieth. one ninth divided by six. Start by drawing a rectangle as a whole in order to represent the one ninth in the expression. The denominator is nine, so partition the whole into ninths, similar to the way you partition the fifths. The fraction being divided is one ninth, so shade in one of the ninths. Next, partition the whole into six equal parts horizontally because the expression shows to divide by six. One way is to start in the middle and partition it in half, then partition each of the halves into thirds so there are a total of six rows. Again, when dividing a unit fraction by a whole number, you are determining the size of each part in comparison to the whole, so you can circle one of the parts. Let's determine the total amount of parts in the whole. There are six parts in each column and nine parts in each row. So you can multiply six times nine to determine the total, which is 54. There are 54 total parts in the whole. Remember, the goal is to determine the size of each or one part out of the whole. So one is the numerator. One ninth divided by six equals one fifty-fourth. 